There's something about building a song from its lowest point. I find the more simple my riffs are, the easier it is to grow that riff into a full track. That same simplicity allows for the riff that I'm playing now. Next, I'm gonna put in a bass line. All I want the bass line to do is carry my mix at this point. Typically, it's more helpful to build your song horizontally rather than vertically, like I am now. But I felt like I needed to first define the mood before I moved on. Well, that's what sounds wrong, because you don't roll off the low ends on a bass. That's what I get for copying and pasting everything. I won't bring in that little riff until right now. Slowly build the track. Needs another one though. So I'll just copy that over here. Duplicating this area. It's healthy to keep on improvising as you go through this. This will be our second verse. It's got a build up feeling that I think we'll lead in great. All I'm doing is keeping that vibe going. This section here will be our chorus, but I can tell it needs something else to really define it. Towards the end of the recording, my timing's not particularly great. Not a big deal. So we can just move it around. You want to be careful that these little additions you make aren't distracting. It's really just about keeping things interesting and complementing. This riff is a bit more important. It's going to solidify this section as being a chorus. However, I wasn't able to play that as accurately as I would have liked. But by slowing down the song and then playing over it, only to then speed it back up, this is very useful, because rather than becoming distracted, I can now move on. And it's completely cheating. But the mix is anarchy. It doesn't particularly matter how you get where you're going. The second verse never had a bass line. So I'll just jump back and make one real quick. The chorus proved a bit more challenging. This one doesn't end up working. It really just felt too much like the rest of the bass lines. That feels a lot better. Just scrolling through some presets, trying to find the right one. This one cuts through really well. Just varying up all the drum tracks here. With my main sections done, I'm going to just color coat the different areas. The only real obstacle at this point is our bridge. It's pretty typical just to go into your chorus after your bridge. Not the best transition, but we can fix that later. It's turned out to be a rather classic rock vibe. Now let's build up the drums.
just gonna steal a little bit from the second verse here just to help this transition a bit. Back in the days of good music, there were guitar solos. I'm confused, where's the drop? Where's the build up and the drop in this song? Here, I'm just gonna copy that up top. That first guitar track has already been proven to work. So really, it's a matter of clicking and dragging. And I've already done the searching to find those frequencies, which complement the mix. Here, I just simply harmonized with one of the guitar tracks. That's my trusty Ebo. The bridge felt a little bit lonely. It helps to ease listeners into the following section with a crash. And this here's really the last addition I make. These clicks really just enforce the idea that this is the chorus. And if I ever pursue anything more with this particular song, which could be likely, I might grab a buddy who's a good vocalist or something. But that's it. Thanks for watching.